Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm comparing three popular types of student planners: the PDF digital planner, which works with note-taking apps like Notes, Notability, and Samsung Notes, the OneNote planner, and the Notion planner. I'll use our four little line digital planners as examples. I'll walk you through the pros and cons of each one to give you an idea of which app fits your needs best for study and life planning. All our student planners, whether it's designed for GoodNotes, Notability, or for OneNote, or for Notion, are an all-in-one tool that combines study and life planning in one place. They all include essential planning pages, yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily, and they all have an academic section where you can organize study notes, track assignments, prep for exams, etc. The academic section can hold at least eight courses. Additionally, they all include lifestyle sections like finance, nutrition. Wellness, fitness, goals, projects, notes, and custom sections. Our student planners come in various daily and weekly layouts. You have all these layouts, so you can try which one works best for you. For example, you can use the horizontal weekly layout for study and life planning. And meanwhile, you can use the daily study section layout for your daily study log. Or the Bujo daily layout, if you want to customize it to your likings. Now let me walk you through the pros and cons of these planners. I'll compare them by the features and functionalities that you'll mostly consider. Firstly, if you are completely new to digital planning and you need something simple, not overwhelming or complicated to learn, the PDF digital planner. Which is for apps like Notes, Notability, Samsung Notes, or the OneNote Planner are probably your go-to because the Notion app takes time to learn. The first feature I want to talk about is handwriting. Good Notes, Notability, OneNote, and most note-taking apps for tablets supports handwriting, but not Notion, unfortunately. The second feature is stickers. If you're a big fan of stickers, you'll enjoy digital planning the most with GoodNotes or Notability or similar apps. These apps have tools that make using stickers so easy and fun. For example, in GoodNotes, you can use the Elements tool to organize our 10,000 stickers that come with the planner, and you can pull it up wherever you like. It's very handy, and you can play with the stickers with lots of editing options. As in OneNote, using our OneNote sticker book is quite straightforward. Simply copy and paste. But there's not much editing capabilities of the stickers. As in Notion. Using stickers is a totally different experience compared with GoodNotes and Notability and OneNote because things are organized by blocks in Notion. Stickers only work like images in Notion. As you can see, the sticker can only be moved block by block, and editing stickers is limited to the shape of square and circle. Another way to use stickers in Notion is to add icon sticker before your notes, like so. So when it comes to choosing a digital planner, you need to think about how you want the stickers to work. And stickers are an essential tool for creative journaling, so you need to make sure the planner you choose can allow you to journal the way you want. Next. Let's talk about the search feature. This feature is available in all these planners. GoodNotes, Notability, and OneNote can all search for both typed notes and handwritten notes. As for Notion, as I mentioned earlier, Notion does not support true handwriting, 
So all the content you created in Notion is text-based, and they're all searchable. Next, I want to talk about the calendar integration. All our student planners include this feature. You can add events directly from the planner to your Google Calendar, Apple Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and Reminders, but they work differently. In the PDF Digital Planner, you can add events to your Google or Apple Calendar at a specific day and time. In the OneNote Planner, you can add events to your calendar, but you need to manually select the day and time. As for the Notion Planner, the calendar integration is a more advanced feature because it's automatic and it can sync between the planner and your Google or Apple Calendar with the Notion Calendar app. All your scheduled events in our Notion Planner are synced to your Notion Calendar app and all your Google or Apple Calendar events are synced to your Notion Calendar app as well. Speaking of syncing notes across devices, OneNote and Notion work much better than GoodNotes because OneNote and Notion provides real-time sync across different platforms. By comparison, GoodNotes does not sync instantly across devices and syncing between Apple and Windows or Android may not work very well. So if you use multiple platforms, say you've got a PC and iPad, you might want to consider the OneNote Planner or Notion Planner for a seamless sync. The last feature I want to talk about is customizability. The most customizable planner is certainly the Notion Planner. You can literally change everything in our Notion Planner, including any text, page layouts, and structures. For example, you can change the task categories. Here I categorize the tasks by school, personal, work, and home. You can change it by subjects like this, and you can delete any section you don't want. And you can also rearrange them like so. Basically, you can modify any templates I made. Or you can create your own templates. And as you see, Notion is infinite canvas, which makes the planner more customizable. In terms of linking content, Notion really was the best. You can link between any nodes in the planner as well as outside of the planner. As for the OneNote Planner, it's customizable to some degree. You can directly edit the title of any page, not the text of the templates though. However, you can easily modify the text of the template with a simple workaround. Highlight the text you use to replace the original. Also, OneNote has infinite canvas that leaves plenty of space for customizing the page. In terms of linking content, you can create links between pages, sections, and even across notebooks. As for the GoodNotes Planner Notability Planner, direct customization is quite limited. You can't really edit the content of the planner, but you can twist the planner a bit with a few workarounds. You can check out this video about digital planner customization for more details. In terms of linking content, you can create links between pages in the planner or outside of the planner. So which planner should you choose? Here are my quick recommendations. If you mostly digital plan on an iPad and you love handwriting with your Apple Pencil and you enjoy creative journaling with stickers, the PDF Digital Planner for GoodNotes, Notability, Samsung Notes, or your preferred note-taking app 
will probably work the best for you. You can definitely consider the OneNote Planner if you like OneNote. What if you don't have an Apple Pencil? That's totally fine. All of these apps support type text input. So it really comes down to which app you feel most comfortable using to type your notes. If you've never used any of them before, I suggest starting with the OneNote Planner, especially if you are already familiar with Word or Excel, since OneNote has a similar feel. If you mostly digital plan on a PC and you use Microsoft products a lot, the OneNote Planner is probably your go-to. If you mostly digital plan on a Mac, I would recommend the OneNote Planner. But you absolutely can go for the GoodNotes Planner or Notability Planner. If you mostly digital plan on an Android tablet like Samsung Tab, I would recommend the PDF Digital Planner, which is the one I've been talking about for GoodNotes and Notability and similar apps. So you just use it in your preferred note-taking apps like Samsung Notes, Noteshelf, Kilo Notes, Flexo, and so on. If you are not sure which app to go for, you can check out this tutorial for more details. Wait, what about the Notion Planner? To be honest, I personally use the Notion Planner for work, and it has taken my task management and project organization and overall productivity to a whole new level. But if you are completely new to Notion, be prepared, you'll need to take some time to learn. But it's so much worth it. If you're pretty confident with Notion and you like to do everything on a computer, then I would highly recommend the Notion Planner. The sync task management I designed for our Notion Planner allows you to easily plan and track tasks. To see how it works, you can check out this video for more details. One final tip is you don't have to stick to one app for digital planning. Chances are you might be using multiple apps already. I personally use Notion for work planning, OneNote for work notes, GoodNotes for live planning and creative journaling. Alright, I hope you find helpful information in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.